Good morning, welcome to Winescape TV. I'm your host, Ditch Oakley, and we are, of course, delighted to have with us Pierre from the Simonsig Wine Estates in the Stellenbosch in South Africa. And we are moving on to our now rather two of our, our special wines here. We've got our Franz Milan uh, blend, um, which I'm very excited about because Franz was uh, uh, instrumental in, 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 I guess, sort of pioneering um, the Cafoncle uh, sparkling wine in sort of the Cape area. Um, so talk me through this one, Pierre. Why is this? Why has he got his name on this one, the Cape Blend? Well, uh, he didn't name the wine. Uh, his son did, Johan, that took over the okay. winemaking duties in the 80s. Um, and it started in the 90, uh, early 90s, uh, Johan is part of the Cape Winemakers Guild, and uh, the guild they make uh, you know small selections of wines for the guild auction that's done every year in October. And uh, someone once asked him, you know, what can you blend with Pinotage? Um, and and he had a barrel of, uh, of New Oak, uh, Pinotage in New Oak in the cellar. He thought, well, if I'm going to make something a blend with Pinotage, I want to do it at the top end. And uh, and he made a, a small quantity of. Um, of a Pinotage blend for this auction tasting, and it did so well that uh, of, he, he then incorporated into the Simons of Range, and uh, they uh, they surprised their father with uh, with the name. Uh, until then, he was uh, he had the sole duty of uh, coming up with names, and uh, and uh, then uh, when they bottled the wine, they they labelled it and they presented it to him, and they said, "Well, this one's called France Milan. <laughs> we uh, we chose the name this time." Excellent. So, uh, France Milan, it's a, it's a Cape blend, uh, being Pinotage uh, driven. This one is 71% Pinotage. Is that sort of the normal Pinotage or a bit of the Red Hill going in there? It's the same way as the Red Hill. Okay. Uh, so, also the, the bush wine on that, on that block. Um, it's 71% Pinotage, 25 Cabernet, and just a touch of Merlot. Uh, with Pinotage, we always like to have a bit of American oak in the blend. Here, it's uh, about 60 French and 40% uh, American oak. Mm. That is delicious. Again, this is very much a very much a bit more of a thinking wine. Um, but I said, you know, it's one of those ones actually that you can have without food because there's so much going on in the glass. Um, every time you go back to the glass, there's something a little bit different going on. I said so you can, can get the sort of the, the, the slight oakiness from the Red Hill Pinotage, um, which is where where these particular grapes come from. And this is so the Merlot just just softens it down yeah. slightly, just gives it a bit of a yeah. Pinotage brings that uh, sweetness of fruit. Mm. Uh, you can really taste that uh, delicate red berry fruit flavors. Uh, Cabernet gives it a bit more of a backbone, the, the tannin. And then the Merlot, you know, especially when the wine is young, the Merlot helps to soften things out. The Cabernet gives it longevity. Brilliant. But I say this wine, uh, this Franz Blanc, is definitely worth uh, checking out uh, from our friends as part of the General Wine Company. Now, we don't get very much of it because uh, Pierre only gives us a little bit every year. <laughs> Not very generous. He gives it all to the Chinese, apparently. But uh, this is definitely it's a very special wine. It's, 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 it, so we don't get very much of it. So get in there now while you can because this is really quite special. It's delicious. And again, you're buying into a little bit of this piece of history here with Franz Milan written on the label. Cheers. Cheers.